Hi, I'm Claire McIntosh. Last week I went to Clay's, a printing firm in Suffolk, to watch the paperback of my book, I Let You Go, being printed. It was the most incredible experience and I really wanted to share it with you. An incredible 10 lorries worth of paper is delivered to Clay's every single day and 20 lorries of books leaves Clay's every day. That's a whole lot of books. And last week, mine was one of them. I'd always assumed that books were printed with individual pages, rather like you might print something at home and then they were all glued together. It's not like that at all. So there are huge, great sheets of uh, metal called plates and they have the text of 16 pages on them, sort of tessellated like that. Uh, and I'm told that every single book will always have uh, page numbers divisible by 16. So if you find that there are blank pages in the back of a book, that's why. It's to make up the numbers so that it can be divided by 16. <clears throat> so uh, this plate goes in the machine. You'll tell this explanation isn't going to be very technical. Goes in the machine and huge great rolls of paper, the paper that we saw in, in that previous photograph, goes through and prints out copies of these great big sheets with, with 16. And so here we can see uh, pages of my book being printed one after another incredibly fast and then the machine takes it through and folds them into um, segments. The pages are printed um, sort of back to back so that what you end up with is something like this. So this is a segment with all these 16 pages. Um, and it's quite hard to it's quite hard to show you really, except that what you end up with is is two books. So if you chopped it in half, that top bit would be one book, and this bottom half would be one book. Does that make sense? Hopefully. One of the most exciting bits for me about the whole experience was accidentally coming across my cover being printed. So it wasn't part of, of the tour. Um, we were shown around um, uh, by some great staff and we came across the machine where they print the cover and it was being explained that um, how, how it goes through and, and if we looked into the glass we'd be able to see a cover being printed. And then it just happened to be that it was mine. And so of course I burst into tears. Um, and then didn't really stop crying for the rest of my, of my trip there, um, much to the amusement of everyone working at Clay's. But I can't really explain how extraordinary it was to stand there and watch hundreds of copies of my cover being printed. After that, it all gets really exciting because it's when the cover goes on and it starts to look like a proper book. So these um, wadges of paper that we saw earlier, these, these sort of double books, are um, put in a cover and so it ends up like this. And I can tell you that watching my book going round and round a conveyor belt all across a factory floor was truly one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had in my life. It was moving and overwhelming and exciting and just incredible. This is a point at which the books are then chopped in half so that we end up with a, a proper sized book. You'll see that the pages are still uh, rough and they're, and they're still joined together so you can't read it yet. And so they go round and round the conveyor belt, they have their edges all trimmed off until we get the finished product, uh, the very first copy of I Let You Go. Some quality assurance and then they're all packaged up and off they go to bookshops and internet suppliers and supermarkets all over the world. I found it an incredible experience watching my book being printed. If you're an author and you have the opportunity to do it, I strongly recommend it. If you're a reader, I hope it's been interesting to you. I Let You Go in paperback is uh, in the shops from the 7th of May. I hope you enjoy it.